ولدي بحفظ العين ما احفظ العين يا ولدي وما بالرماش If Amin is singing, it's because he's happy. His regular meetings with Khawla are very helpful for him. She listens to him without judging. She's been counseling him regularly since his return to Casablanca. Amin returned to Morocco from Greece with the help of IOM, the United Nations Agency for Migration. He is supported by Khawla as part of a personalized mentorship approach being piloted by the Orion project. Above all, Khawla provides Amin with moral support, helping him to overcome the consequences of a very difficult migration journey, as well as to reintegrate his home community, which he has decided to rejoin. J'ai apprécié la valeur euh, du partage entre le mentor et le mentoré, et aussi les, les points focaux et les coordinateurs du programme du projet Orient, soit ici au Maroc, soit à l'international. Since January 2019, a dozen mentors spread across multiple communities in Guinea, Senegal and Morocco each assume responsibility for around 20 returning migrants. S'il n'y a pas un engagement mutuel, une confiance et un, un, un climat qui est convivial, il n'y aura pas ces résultats. They travel many kilometers to meet each other regularly. They call each other, they share meals, they meet their families, in short, they build a relationship based on trust. They brainstorm together about all kinds of projects which would help bring lasting stability to the life of returnees in their communities. This mentoring goes hand in hand with economic assistance provided by IOM. It makes their social and psychosocial reintegration easier by ensuring they are not isolated, by helping them with official paperwork, and by working to improve their well being. The Orion project is part of a larger program called Safety, Support, and Solutions in the Central Mediterranean Route, financed by UK Aid. A recent study has shown the positive impact of this approach on the reintegration of returning migrants. <laughs> Fatoumata, from Timbituni in Guinea, left in 2014 to join her husband who was working in Libya. After a failed attempt to cross the Mediterranean, she returned to Guinea in 2017. Her husband then left for Senegal. Since then, Fatoumata has been able to open a grocery store, mostly thanks to the help of IOM and the support of her guardian angel, Alhamdou. Espérance experienced a similar situation. This young Senegalese got help from IOM and Abdou Karim, her mentor, to return from Morocco with her two children and open a cosmetic store in Kapskiring. <laughs> Ahmed is a father of four. He first migrated over 20 years ago. After an epic six-year journey across six countries, he escaped from a detention center in Tripoli and decided to return to Senegal with the help of the IOM office in Niger. With the support of his mentor, Mahem, he is back in his former house in Kaolak. He is managing to pay his bills and has found a maintenance job at a local football ground. J'ai beaucoup bénéficié de OEM et de ses différents programmes. <muches>
Abdurrahman also found himself in Libya. Having failed to cross the Mediterranean, he drifted from Mali to Burkina Faso, Niger, and then Libya, where he had a serious accident. In 2017, he returned to Sompareya in Guinea. Thanks to Alpha Ousman, his IOM mentor, Abdurrahman slowly regained the respect of his family, as well as his self-confidence, and ended up opening his own restaurant. Have you two cartons? Panta du carton, le riz du sac. Je n'ai pas envie de me retourner maintenant, quoi. J'ai envie de rester ici maintenant, faire mon travail. Ouais. Fatoumata, Espérance, Amine, Ahmed, Abdurrahman, and over 220 other returning migrants have benefited from the Orion project in their home countries. With the helping hands of their mentors, they've managed to put down new roots in the communities they came from. We hope that many more will soon be able to benefit from this approach in the future. <laughs>